This was an election all about getting the vote out, especially for Benjamin Netanyahu, the man who would remain king. He's now outlasted every other Israeli prime minister in terms of time in office, and he's going for a fifth term. He is a statesman of international stature. He represents us before the whole world. Stein. Netanyahu himself voted early and then started popping up around Jerusalem, scolding supporters who hadn't voted yet. Listen up, he's saying. What are you doing here? Go vote Likud. But Netanyahu is a controversial figure in this country. Many Israelis say his populist rhetoric is a threat to liberal values. He is doing whatever he wants. Netanyahu is facing serious corruption allegations. Three indictments expected to be laid down next month. Shame, says this poster. Others say Netanyahu has given too much power to the ultra-Orthodox in exchange for their support, allowing state subsidies for yeshiva students and exemptions for military service. We work, we pay taxes, we go to the army, our children go to the army, and they just, uh, you know, live out of our money and out of our work. When the exit polls came out, they put Netanyahu and his main challenger, former army chief Benny Gantz, neck and neck. A blow to the man in danger of losing his crown, but who at the end of the night was still fighting to hold on to it. The last vote six months ago now revealed just how deep the fissures are in Israeli society. And for now, it's still too soon to tell whether this vote will heal them or simply reinforce them. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Jerusalem.